Neil O'Donnell, sorry. Uh, I'll ask Carly. Uh, Keanu, I, I want to begin by acknowledging two, uh, what I would regard, and I'm sure you'll agree, uh, significant motions being agreed uh, at Belfast City Council uh, last night. Uh, the first motion uh, called uh, on uh, that council to uh, prepare research that looks at uh, a change in constitutional status and future planning uh, and the impact that that might have uh, on the economy uh, and prosperity uh, of the city. Uh, I think it's a very uh, prudent and responsible uh, position uh, uh, adopted uh, by a majority vote uh, in that council that is planning uh, for uh, future change uh, down the lane. I think it's an example uh, to other uh, institutions uh, right across the length and breadth uh, of the island not to fear or not to retract uh, from uh, this uh, necessary debate and planning but to engage it uh, positively and collaboratively. And I have to acknowledge that has certainly been the express view uh, right across uh, the, uh, the chamber here, um, that regardless of where we fall down uh, on the constitutional question and the nuances of it, we all agree that uh, it is responsible uh, and leaderly and indeed necessary uh, to engage in the preparations in a, an inclusive uh, and responsible uh, way. Uh, so it's to reiterate, uh, uh, Leader, uh, my call uh, for that uh, the discussion. Um, I think the Shannon can act as a, a positive uh, representative forum and place for that moving forward. The second motion that was agreed uh, at Belfast City Hall last night uh, was that members uh, voted in favour of writing to uh, Antishak and the British Secretary of State, uh, asking them to outline uh, the conditions under which and the scenario uh, under which a referendum on our constitutional future can be called. Um, I think, given the political climate uh, again that we're in, if we are going to discuss this and plan uh, appropriately, we need to have all of the necessary and relevant information uh, to hand. So I think at this crucial juncture uh, in our uh, political uh, and societal life, uh, it would be uh, positive if certainly uh, initially from an Irish government perspective, the Taoiseach could outline what his and the government's understanding is for that criteria, criteria actually being met. And as you acknowledged, uh, uh, Leader, you hope to have an Taoiseach in uh, before uh, the end of the year. Uh, if that's the case, I certainly would hope uh, he will have a response uh, to Belfast City Council by then. By then and he'll be able to inform us as members of the Shannon as well. Gordon Wigan, I'll ask Thank you, Senator. Leader to respond. Um, thank you, Carol. Can I thank the um, 19 members of the House? And finally, um, Senator O'Donnell, I, I didn't see the motions you referred to in Belfast City Council, but I'd be happy to have a debate on the matters raised by him uh, in Chair, the future.